That'll just keep going up. I think the highest it gets is like 90% or something around there efficiency, which is a bit silly, but hey. And we can't get any bigger guns, we can't get anything else. Three hundred and five millimeter Gatling cannon. I'm tempted to keep going down the proto branch here, but I don't know, like, what specifically it actually unlocks. So I'm not sure about that. Get better ammo. I assume it's better ammo. I have no idea. Should probably get better missiles as well. We've got so much money, I may as well just research everything at this point. And structures, that's right, we need a better bridge for our carrier. I completely forgot about that. Where are the carriers at? There they are. We apparently already had a better bridge, but whatever. Carrier bridge alpha! What bridge do we have on it? Still this one, I think. 52173 I think I like the UK one better. Has less sonar though. And it's also freaking massive. That'll be alright. There we go. Success! We could get an ammo depot. May as well. And a heavy launcher. May as well. Start all the R&D. Literally start everything. I mean, we could get gas turbines. What can they be used on? Nobody knows. Do we know now? No! <laughs> hmm. They don't output very much. And I don't know what they can be used on, so I'm just going to waste a bunch of money and probably won't be able to use it on a carrier. There we go. But if they can be used on carrier, that's a great deal there. Already checked aircraft. That was a lot of money. I spent all the money known to man. I think that's all we need, actually. Most of our research is actually limited by finishing missions rather than having money. Design, carrier, the spore launcher. I still find the fact that it's named the spore launcher glorious. Alrighty. We don't need to replace any of that. We do, however, need to replace something. This. Why not? With the auto reload system, which means we have 40% better reload dimes. Which is glorious, mind you. Because we can shoot more often. And I'm going to see if I can replace this with something I can actually use. Not main guns. Not rapid either, because we only have a crappy one. Any rockets? No. I'm curious, can you put these on the deck? You can. Hmm. No, get no, 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 stop. There we go. So these can go on carriers. <laughs> so we're gonna put them on carriers. How fast was it going before? Like 47? I should actually probably keep these in a small area, considering they're actually the vital point marking. Keeps my armor lower. How many of these can we put on here? The entire boat is just going to be gas turbines, apparently. It's still going up in speed. Albeit slowly. What if we drop the armor a little bit? Oh, oh, there we go. So we're in 49.1 knots is how fast we can get the thing going. That's a lot of engine parts to do that. I don't know if that's a viable thing to do. 
Man, it'll be alright. Design done. I now travel at the speed of light. Not quite. A <laughs> giant torpedo. It's really hard to get above 50, excuse me, 50 knots without systems. And you know what I just did? Is I removed the thing on the spore launcher and didn't replace it with something else. So we have to go back in with the lovely loading screens. I do like the loading screens. Oh yeah, and the new bridge. Thank you for reminding me. We may as well put that on now since it's big. Replace this with the alpha one. Which is bloody freaking massive. It also is now in the center of the ship for whatever reason. That's... what? Oh, this is the one that goes on the boat. We'll just put that back there. Okay. Part is deployed outside a loud area. There we go. Just shut up about it. That's a big freaking doodad there, just saying. Now we lost some guns, but we do have better reload. I'll gun, put the gun on so I can use the stupid boat. We may as well just keep the missile launcher on there. We have a better reload, so losing a few guns isn't too bad of an issue. Be right. Suddenly heavy lag. Is my internet imploding? It's possible. No, my internet's not imploding. It's alright. To battle! This will probably be the last mission before I go get something to eat. And then depending on what I'm doing after getting something to eat, I may very well be back, so... I may just do all of the missions known to man. Look at that bridge, man. That is a beefy bridge. That is a beefy bridge if ever there was one. Unnecessarily large, some might say. Anyway, let's continue. Now, most of our objectives are just basically this way. So this way we go. Have a missile. Whee. I should research like cruise missiles or something. Something long range. So I could just kind of sit offshore and shoot cruise missiles at things while my planes go blow everything up. Because planes. Secondary objective added. How's that working for you guys? It'd be, it would help a lot if, like, you had better accuracy. Just saying. See you, Lucas. I don't know why Twitch lags sometimes for some people, but not other people. Probably location-based, but I don't have any idea how Twitch works. It's all some sort of magic black box to me. Could actually shoot this crap from a range here. I don't have to destroy the radar. Interesting. Just the batteries, it seems. Yeah, I just have to blow up the batteries over here. Interesting choice, but there's something here I have to blow up, isn't there? Is it on the other side? It is. Okay. This is going to be the world's shortest mission if I just do the main objective. Like, I mean, crazy short mission here. Because one missile per battery, and the batteries have no way of shooting it down. It looks like there's another objective over here, actually. Oh, there's another battery. Aha! Another battery, you say? Enemy ship in flames! Apparently I set a ship on fire. There's a box. I should probably go and pick that up since I'm right Stop here. I turn like a whale, though, considering I took that off. Also, notice the refire rate of the missile launcher, by the way. It's a lot faster. In fact, it's 40% faster. Glorious. I don't even need to see my objective to kill it. I just, you know, just haphazardly fire missiles. There's something right there. Or maybe something across the way. There is. I'll shoot that, too. In the meantime, I'll just go forward. I need to get a gravity shield on this thing. Gravity defense. Whatever you want to call it. There's an airfield over here, isn't there? Yeah, it's right there. That would probably explain the large quantity of day three boats. 
planes. Airplane boats. Air boats. What are they call them? I'm probably just gonna straight up leave that airfield. It's not really a threat. In fact, nothing is a threat really at this point. Not even super weapons are a threat, they just take a long time. And if I wait long enough, they'll probably blow up. 20 ships, I have to blow up the airfields, so. Nope, nope, airfield, there we go. So, may as well do that. I don't know where the airfields are. All of them, anyway, so. Secondary objective. Apparently that was it, just that one. Okay. Whatever floats your boat game. I just still don't understand why we have to actually clear this out. I mean, we could just go around it. It's grease. We don't really need the boats to go through it. Whatever, I'm not the commander, so. I can't even see most of the objectives that I'm killing here. Apparently it doesn't matter, so whatever. Do I still have pickup helicopters? No, those are anti-submarine. Never mind. The rotor has like three frames of animation, I think. I missed something. Did I just blow up the wrong building when I shot at that? I'll just blow up the wrong building again, it's alright. Some parts in here. I wonder how many of these boats and things are blowing up actually dropped parts that I would have liked to pick up. Because I haven't been paying attention to the fleets at all. You, sir! I have very small caliber guns that want Enemy to tickle you sunk. until you suddenly explode. Enemy ship sunk. Orphanage? Enemy ship sunk. Military buildings Enemy aren't ship orphanages? Sunk. Unless they are, I don't know. Also, enemy ship sunk. Enemy battleship sunk. Enemy ship enemy sunk. Ship sunk. Enemy ship enemy sunk. Ship sunk. Full speed ahead. Please stop blowing up the military buildings, thank you. I'm not actually going to wait for the secondary objectives on that. At least we won't have to write letters to the parents. I suppose that would be a valid point for that kind of thing, as horrible as that sounds. Enemy hip dunk. What? The final part of our Mediterranean operation. And I changed accents halfway through that statement. I have terrible accents. Everything I say is just slurred together in some sort of weird voice. Multipurpose Missile 3. And Development Plan Nuclear Reactor Alpha. I don't even think I have Nuclear Reactor 1, much less Nuclear Reactor Alpha. That game, but whatever. You like the sound of nuclear reactor alpha, do you? I do too, because they're really efficient. And you don't need purge for them, because they don't produce smoke, so you don't need to purge it. Annihilate the enemy fleet, and don't die. Operation Crimson Tears of Aida. Aida? Probably Aida. You know what, actually, I'll do one more mission before I go eat. I thought that mission was going to take a little longer than that. Alexandria to the southwest, Cyprus to the northeast, and Port Said on the Mediterranean, Mediterranean side of the Suez Canal. An air base, just one? That's it. Hurry preparations to sail, but sir, we don't have any sails. 
How are we supposed to sail without sails? I have thermal vision, something I'll probably rarely, if ever, use. Let's go into R&D mode and see if we can actually research any nuclear engines. Actually, I think those may be for submarines, now that I'm thinking about that. Mm, no diesel is what submarines use. Well, we can't research nuclear, so... We can research boiler, eh? Boiler alpha, whatever. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea, but we'll save our money for now. Let's look at holes. There's no carrier holes I want, so really the only thing to get is either cruiser or battleship. And if I keep going down cruiser and destroyer, it unlocks... I can't remember what it unlocks. I think it unlocks the twin hole destroyers down there. You can't hug children with nuclear reactors, says who? How does holes sound like holes? There's a U there. You dingus. I can't even go very far down the battleship tree here. I may just save my money. Let's just save the money here. Can you get cruise missiles? Probably not. Because I haven't been researching missiles at all. I could speed the process up and unlock more missiles, but that would be expensive because there's a lot of missiles you can get. So we'll just wait. We'll save the money that we have and continue onward. With the spore launcher, because spores. Who doesn't like launching spores at dying enemies and such what nots? See you, Cuba. All hands alert! Full speed ahead. Airborne units, attack! Sweet delicious tea. Everyone likes tea. I assume everyone likes tea. I have no freaking idea though. Controversial government sponsored reactors? Reactor Huggles program. Maybe they should stop having reactor huggles time. I mean really, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to hug a nuclear reactor, and I like hugging everything, so. Let's be honest here. Now you want to make tea? I make tea by the gallon, so I'm prepared for any moment of tea desire. No, really, I make tea by the gallon. Usually every couple days. I'm still launching planes. Almost slowly drifted over here, still launching planes. You make it by the pint. That's a lot smaller than a gallon, but it's probably more than most people normally make it. Most people seem to make it by the cup. Primarily because they don't drink it nearly as much as the tea brigade does here. I guess if you guys want to just sit there and die, that works for me. It's working pretty well for you so far. Yeah, that went well. You guys have the world's worst commander. Stop engine. Reverse engine. Stop engine. Full speed ahead. Stop engine. Reverse stop engine. engine, full speed ahead. Reverse stop engine, engine, stop engine, full, full speed, speed ahead. ahead. Make up your mind, dang it. So our objectives are probably destroy the airfield, so let's head this way. I think this mission might actually have a cargo plane that spawns, I'm not sure. And off we go. In the joy joyousness that is our lovely carrier here. Which is kind of half submerging itself every time it goes through a wave on the front deck there. And it seems a bit bit wavy for the carrier to be going at the speed. Yeah, yeah. Probably shouldn't do that with carriers. So let's be honest here. Let me shoot my helicopter. It's very rude for you to just shoot my helicopter like that. I'm just gonna park in the middle of them. How's it going, guys? Reverse engine. I heard you had boats to blow up, so, uh, how's it going? Enemy ship sunk. Apparently they're just gonna ram into me while I sit here and shoot them. 
You guys are very rude, you know that. Enemy ship sunk. Mostly that destroyer that keeps sunk. shooting. Enemy ship sunk. It's alright. These guys need better commanders. Or better boats. Cancel the engagement mode. Is that an enemy helicopter? No, it's my helicopter. All I saw was the red. I was confused. And someone's bombing that fleet. And there's a bunch of stuff down here. Looks like it's just a port or something. It'll be right. In the meantime, let us investigate this area, which is apparently full of ammunition and funds. There it is. I desire to destroy you. Foul airfield. My raptors are literally just camping their airfield at this point. Oh, you wanted to lift off, did you? Have a missile. Or just have flak. One of the two. I don't really care which, as long as it kills you. Look at all of the funds, man. Seriously, aircraft. Why oh, you gotta do that? And apparently I blew up the airbase. I can see it right there. What do you mean I blew up the airbase? Look, it's right there. I just targeted it. It's apparently nearly impossible to target it, but I've targeted it. There it is. Look at it. I can I can see the airbase. What do you mean successfully destroyed the airbase? That's not how this works. Apparently we've destroyed the airbase again. Or was it just telling me my secondary objective existed? I don't know. Sometimes this game confused me. So we have to destroy all battleships, but the battleships are on the other side of the map, so I'm just going to head south for now. See if there's anything in this port that was over here, wherever it is. I can't see it yet. It's too far. There it is. Maybe there's a transport ship or something over here. It doesn't look like there is. Which kind of sucks. We haven't seen a transport ship with loot in it for ages. Hmm. That's moderately disappointing. Well, time to go destroy some battleships then, since there's apparently nothing for me over there. My helicopters are still destroying submarines in probably the least efficient possible manner. I mean, it takes one missile to blow it up, I think. Yeah, it takes one missile to blow it up. They're traveling in a pack of four, firing missiles as if it's going out of style. Could be done more efficiently, but whatever. They have limitless ammo, they just have to resupply every once in a while, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Helicopters look cool. I wish helicopters were more viable for anti-ship kind of stuff, otherwise, if that was true, I would just use straight-up helicopters all the time. It just looks cooler watching helicopters go around and do their thing than watching jets, because jets are too fast. They just kind of whiz by. And do whatever they want in their free time, I guess. You know you guys are really bad at protecting your port? You're also stuck on each other, I think? Whatever. Their whole job was to patrol this area and keep me from getting through here, and they're just kind of... chilling. Over here. For some reason. Also, all my planes are coming this way now. Look at them go! It's just like a fleet of planes following me around it all the time. They do have to refuel as well. I think that's probably people have figured that out by now, considering they have a range value on them. Hello, Queen Elizabeth! That's a lot of battleships. Luckily, they're kind of retarded, so it's alright. Like, literally, kind of retarded. It's alright, man. Anyone want to drop some parts for me? Nope. You think they drop parts more often, considering they're made of parts? 
BB Queen Elizabeth, Barbecue Lizzie. Hmm. I am OP, yes. For the sake of entertainment purposes, I am tempted to put it up to normal, but considering I've already said I'm going to put it on hard for the second playthrough, I don't think it really matters. And in fact, it's actually helping me dramatically to put it on easy. Because it's allowing me to more easily get more funds, so it'll help the second playthrough on hard. I should probably actually start shooting, I don't know. Suddenly nighttime, by the way. You know, suddenly becomes night. It's kind of standard. Did that guy drop funds? I desire funds. There we go. That guy dropped parts. Sign me up. It's gonna kick me out right before I pick up the parts. Really, game? Look, parts. That's all you had to do is wait a quarter of a second. Might as well kill these guys. In case they drop some parts. They didn't. They're very rude. Now the only thing left is shore bits, which I don't care about, and the bombers would eventually kill anyway. It gives me more points, but I don't really care. If I want points, I can get points on the second playthrough where everything's worth like five times as many points. It'll be alright. We've completed a bulwark that cuts off the Empire's supply route. Hooray! Look at all those glorious points. I did 50% of the objective. Apparently there was two more objectives that I was completely unaware of. And we got a 127mm high velocity gun. Which is quite a bit more than I already have. <laughs> Look at that time! Look at it! That is a flawless time right there. That is as if I know what I'm doing. I do, but you know, details. 10 hours! Boom! On the dot. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna end this set here. I'm gonna go get myself some food. And I will see you guys next time then. Adios.